Hello YouTube. Excuse the shaky cam. I'm still recovering from the appliance week. Uh, I can't even tell you what day of the week it is. <laughs> the video will be posted tonight. So you'll have a similar date. Of, close to the day to what I'm doing. Is that hole back there in the valve cover? That used to go with the air cleaner, okay? Well, I'll show you an air cleaner where I used to have it. I rigged up a fitting with I'm going to put it right here, okay? So here's the PCV valve. This hose goes down and we're going to put a clamp on there because we made one out of wire years ago. Must have been in a hurry. Because uh, I got this, a lot of the emission stuff was cobbled up. So uh, we're going to find a piece of heater hose and run it right here because you got to vent that back there. You can't stick a cork in there. I know you, you got to get the crankcase ventilated. So we're going to ventilate it over here so the PCV valve sucks off both things. Best we can do. Okay, my choke cable. I'll go around and show you how much extra I've left. Okay. Best way to do these cables is pull the center out, find the length of the housing and cut it, okay? Then slide your center and then cut it. So I got like I'll show you, I got like three foot laying on the floorboard I don't need. It's like a five foot cable, so try not to get any sharp bends to it. You know, gradual curves, so we'll pause here because our battery's low, of course. Everybody else always say that I grabbed my camera after doing a video the day before. Okay, here's where we used to run that hose up to the air cleaner. <clears throat> we had some of that, <clears throat> excuse me, don't want to have to pause. We had some of that scrubby stuff. You might see in filters where they had that scrubby thing. There was probably a piece of that in there. Kind of acted as a filter. That's how we vented that before, okay? Okay, this will not fit on this Holly carburetor. I pounded and I pounded with a hammer, okay? To try to clear the float adjustment screw which I'll point to it but this is for a five inch carburetor which fit the Ford and it probably fits Edelbrock carburetors you got to buy a spacer adapter so uh, see the knockout for them that you put that at I just drilled some holes like I said there's probably some scrubby things under there but I won't throw none of this away somebody might need it it's still a usable air cleaner I mean I tried pounding out with a hammer to get it to fit no, nope, no such luck there either. So, let's jump back over here. Here's where the breather was hitting besides not being a big enough front. It kept hitting on here, no matter how much I beat with the hammer. So, we'll go and show you the choke cable of how much extra I have. Okay, that's how much extra choke cable we have. We plan on mounting it right under the cigarette lighter. It kind of goes out that way. It says it's all gradual bend, but I'm going to have to come around this, uh, well, I said furnace pipe. <laughs> Duct work for the air conditioning. It's what it is. This car is air conditioning. Truck. It's a truck, not a car. Okay, we'll take a break, take a breather, and we're going to make a bolt for the air cleaner and get that done, and then we'll. Might not be able to show you any hose, but at least I showed you where I'm going to put the hose on there. Uh, to vent that over there in the PCV valve, we'll have to draw off both valve covers. It'll work good enough. It's all I can do. So stay tuned for more. Oh, the hole through the firewall. We're going to make a small hole for the cable. We ripped this one out. We pulled out with a, with a pliers or a knife. To, we destroyed it, but we knew we had another one, and it's used. So don't have holes in your firewall where you get carbon monoxide and stuff coming through, but we got a better one. There, we don't need that. Throw it away. Put a little hole in there so the choke cable can fit through there and it'll pop through the hole. See how they go? You can buy them in any auto parts stores. Uh, plugs and stuff like that. See? That's what it does. Okay. Back to work. Okay, here's how we made a carburetor stud. The bottom is 5 16 This is quarter inch. We just welded two bolts together. Didn't even have to cut the bolts. We found two that fit just right. So you just put that on there. Put this nice protective washer on here. And the old factory dull die cast aluminum, whatever looking wing nut. Remember, this is just a truck. This ain't going to a car show. There you go. Another break time. We gotta take another break here again. We'll get this job done. Okay, this about inch and a half, whatever angle iron. 
the little bracket I made for the choke cable it'll go through there and that little hole mounts it up to the dash and I've got enough clearance between the head of the bolt and the cable that goes through the housing I'll take a try to take a picture of but <clears throat> it's gonna be all mounted underneath there I think you know what I mean I will take a picture when it's mounted though from the front I put some shellac on there I buffed that with a sanding disc so it's not chrome but it looks nice and I just put some shellac on it so it will not rust sorry about my voice <clears throat> time for some more lemonade okay there it is you can pull it out with it running or shut off there's a little cam that sets your fast idle so the choke you don't have to put the foot feet down to pull the choke on like some carburetors it's kind of a different system hard to explain but you can do this while so you're not even running the foot feet and pull the choke on it only has to be out about that far i gotta set the fast idle it idles a little too fast when the choke is on but we'll have to wait till winter time to check that out so there you go we'll go out and show you what it looks like mounted on the carburetor and about how much we cut off okay we left some extra wire in case our measurements were off because you can always move that housing this way further and you can always adjust it with this screw right here and how it tightens on there and this is about how much i took off see this piece laying here so i took a good almost two feet off this cable that and you see how i got it run it's kind of a gradual curve don't put no kinks in this stuff you put kinks in it, it ain't gonna slide in there just like any other cable so Thanks for watching. We are done. We are going in the house where it's air conditioned. It's really muggy out here.